Okay. Uh, I just finished, not just, I mean, I, I, I went to, I had a little nap, I went to sleep, whatever. Um, watching the uh, Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League, because they're at my brother's house, you know. And, and uh, you know, he got the HBO Max. You know, you know how you boomers live, you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. Uh, I think we started, this is Saturday night, right? So we started, I think, Thursday. We watched one hour of it, you know, the first hour of it. Then Friday, we watched two to two hours in the middle, right? And then we finished up our little bit change um, last, well, last night, tonight, but earlier tonight, right, uh, of the movie. I don't know, what's the word you use? Awesome, that, 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 whatever, whatever you want to say. Well worth it. Well, well worth, worth worth the four hours. Interesting enough, the pandemic has is, is been good because this four hour, can, I can't see you, you know, it had to be like one of those Lawrence of Arabia things, you know, where you sit in a movie and then, you know, you have an intermission, <laughs> you know, like that, I mean, a full intermission, you go off, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, and then come on back. But, um, but I can see like, hey, the way we watched it, it, it was wonderful. It was really, really, really good. Um, what I said two, four hours again, eh, take my time. And I can watch some other stuff. At any rate, uh, um, so so since I saw it, then I can watch some other stuff. Now there's this uh, a thing that they did when it came out. There's a you know the, the popular thing now is trailer reactions and stuff like that. Okay, so they have trailer reaction now for this cut. Like Ben Affleck has one. I mean, uh, you know, for Batman, whatever. Uh, um, uh, but Zack Snyder has one. You know, of course, he's doing the real reaction. He's even saying some little quirks about, you know, the Josh Wheaton, uh, um, I say, version. And even Josh Wheaton has a <laughs> trailer reaction. Hey, internet is fun, right? Okay, so uh, in watching the Zack Snyder one, I came across this. In fact, I'm actually playing, I'm going to do a little production value here. You know, you're going to hear what he said, and then I'll, I'll tell you why I did that. Ready? Hope, listen up carefully. Here we go. Step number one, you watch this movie and then demand to have a sequel, and then I'll make it. Do you all agree? Okay, that's what he said, right? And then I wrote in the comments, yes, we agree to as many uh, continuations as you wish. That was my first line. Yes, we agree to as many continuations as you wish. Huh? This is an exceptional work of moving art. I have uh, been a film addict since 1958. That'd be when I was eight years old. I witnessed everything, uh, all genres, from D.W. Griffin's Intolerance to that, 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 that. Right. So I, I did that purpose because the, the first acknowledgement, whatever big film was, it was D.W. Griffin's um, Birth of a Nation. But you know, we all know what that is. You know, Woodrow Wilson put thing and then the club rise of the Klan. But technically, if you want to look at films, his next film, which was like a, I guess, a reaction because people he came, they came down so hard on him filming that that, that that movie, The Klansman, you know, they came out real hard. So he did another film right after called Intolerance. Technically, it's an amazing film, long also, but it's it's just unbelievable, right? And I've seen all, of it, believe me, I, in the movie theaters, I saw, I saw a, the six and a half hour. Russian version in Russian, well, subtitles of War and Peace. You know, so I I know films, right? I mean, I've seen all my life. You know, oh, by the way, you want to see? I saw, I, we saw, uh, what was it? Uh, Alter States the other day, the other whatever. Have it was on, you know, one of these services. You know, one of these channels that we have on, on these, what you all got here in the states, right? And uh, and I, I love Alter States. You know, I, you know, you know, they had they made a big deal about Stanley Kubrick's thing with his, you know, when. when when he do psychedelic light show, all the states has a better one. Anyway, forget that. But uh, he did a film called The Devils. Ooh, you want to see some filmmaking? Go see The Devils by Ken. Uh, by uh, um, uh, what was what's Ken's name? Ken Russell. Okay. Um, plus a whole lot of other movies in between. So I just get my bona fides there. Uh, and I say, thank you for this. I saw in streaming with my fraternity brother just hours ago. I, oh, I got more in here. Saying, oh, oh, oh. Um, I now have a DVD copy I'm bringing, I'm bringing with me back to Southern Africa where I live. The folks there will be extremely thrilled. I appreciate you and your efforts, especially making the, the Cyborg and the Flash the dual arch stories in your masterful vision. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? What was missing from the... Uh, 
from why I, I saw the both version is that you know they they completely cut Cyborg's story. I mean, you know, it is like cutting the heart out of the movie <laughs> because you, if you know storytelling, there's arc. Something happens to the protagonist that you know it is resolved, right? Well, he did something interesting because I believe, right? There's the main arc. There's just like a main arc with Cyborg, you know, the whole thing, and then there's a like a a minor arc. Right, as far as storytelling, I'm talking about the guys, you know, just leave appearing or some stuff, and you know, Aquaman or some stuff. But Flash has a more uh, closer arc that happens to to the Flash or Flash, right? Let's say the Flash, right? So then I'm thinking, well, why did they cut down Flash? What did they cut down? You know, Cyborg? Is it because you know they're not big name actors, and I guess you know people they think people want to see the big name actors, whatever happened? What could it be? And of course, since um. You know, ADOS, you know, Black American. First thing I do, you know, we do the conspiracy thing. Oh, you just didn't want the black people in there. Oh, black story is not that important. Unfortunately for them, you know, Zack Snyder put the black story as the main arc. So you take that out and the film just don't make no sense. You know, plus, you know, you you lose the brother from another planet. He's, he's lost. You know, he, they cut him all up, you know, even lose Alfred and Cyborg so is so important and it's really good, you know I guess you lose Cyborg's mama you know, there's like three black actors you know, cut down their stuff Hollywood, man, y'all, you know, you regular Hollywood, Zachy Cool Zachy Cool, right, but the rest of you guys you Wheatons and all the rest of them people go, man, I blow a booger on your bellies, man Ugh. anyway, that's just a little film review film observation from me, T, from the Pattersons. You know, you know what the, the Pattersons, you know, the Pattersons is right here. Pattersons, see? This is the Bronx, right? Mount Haven section over here, right? Mount Haven section over there. In the Mount Haven section, you have the Patterson housing projects, okay? That's where I'm from. From the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>